Welcome, 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 welcome to Unit 13 of this Merriam Webster's Vocabulary Builder. Let's get started. First off, eight words. Technically roots, so let's get started with. Firstly, we have core, which is like, which actually basically is a Latin root, and it basically means hard. Here we have for the word accord, concord, cordial, and discordant. Nice? Good, but not exactly great either. Alright, the second word is culp, as in culprit, corporal, those things. Here we get the words guilt, as in like culpable. Here we have exculpate, inculpate, and mia culpa. Mia culpa is also pretty interesting too, if you kind of ask me. The third one is dict. Dict actually means it's a Latin word, and it comes from the Latin word dicere, which means to speak. Blah 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 blah. Nah 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 nah. I have the Iron Giant would do it before he learned some words. Here we get like diction, edict, jurisdiction, and uh, dictum. So that's all interesting. Okay, what else do we have after this? Uh, we have nai, technically gni or no or spelled gno, like as a G-N-I or G-N-O. Hmm. Here we get the words to know, and that's really interesting too. Here we have like cognitive, agonistic, incognito, and prognosis. Hmm. All fair and good to be honest. Alright, next up we have like graph, as in like graphene, and here you actually, it actually is a Greek word that actually comes from graphene and it's like to write. Oh, I just really yeah. Did I say a cognitive, agonistic, uh, incognito, and prognosis? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. So graph. Graph itself actually means to write all over something. Graphene itself is the stuff that you find on the pencil leads. If I can find a pencil. All right. So I found a pencil, but it basically is just broken. Wait back. This, the black stuff here, the, that stuff that's carbon, that is pencil graphene. That's nice. It's not actual lead, though. Also, it is really bad for your skin, so I like to put it in the cap. Space pencil, space pencil, space pencil. All over the universe, going ahead and uh, finding new places for pencils to live and make and colonize. Alright, let's just keep going. Alright, so... Then we also have to talk about graph. Graph itself actually creates some words too. Calligraphy, as in like, the art of beautiful handwriting. Hello, this is how you write me, how in calligraphy. This is how you write sure, sure, sure now in calligraphy. Look, you copy. U, F minus, U, A, A plus, 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 plus. Yeah, something like that. Then we have radiography, uh, choreography, and Lithograph. In fact, the word graph itself actually comes from the root graph. Wow. All right, then we have to talk about art. Art is a Latin root, and that basically means skill. Skill issue, if you ask me. Anyways, yeah. So you get the words artful, artful, artifact, artifice, and artisan. Skill issue. So yeah, there you go. All right, our seventh root is fort, as in fortis. And this basically means strong here we get like latin root like it's a latin root and we have fortify fortification forte and fortitude forte like as in da -da 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 yeah it's the loudest well piano is da -da 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 -da. Uh, forte fort forte fortissimo is like da -da 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 -da. okay and piano pissimo is da -da 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 well, hello there, Claude. Alright, what next do you have? Alright, next up, we also have to literally talk about Fort. It's in Fortis and Strong, so yeah. To be honest, we already said that, so we already said Artificial, Artifact, Artifice, and Artisan. So last but not least, we're going to talk about... Where's that? Okay, there we go. We're going to talk about Cis. It's root, that basically means cut. And since it's like a root that basically means cut, there's a bunch of things that we're going to have to say here. So like we have the words cis and concise. Yeah, all those words too. Here we get excise, incisive, and also, last but not least, precision. Precision itself is really important too, and I think it's really important too. So here we go. Size basically means cut. So yeah, that's about it. Alright, now it's time for animal words. Animal words, animal words. Alright, apiary. Hmm, apiary. Apiary is, well, an interesting word itself because it basically means 
It basically means a place where bees are literally kept for their honey. Then we have keeper, which is like a playful leap or like a prank or mysterious adventure. Then we have equestrian, which is like of or related to horseback riding. Then we have lupine. Lupine basically means like a wolf or wolfish. Then we have ovine, which basically means of relating to or resembling to sheep. Uh, then we have ornithologist, which is like a person who studies birds. Then we have serpentine, which is like like a snake or serpent. Uh, last but not least, simian, which basically means monkeys. Do you want to go to the zoo and monkey hunt and see some simian creatures? We are acting simian right now. Oh yeah, do simian features. Oh, ah, 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 donkey Kong. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's about it. So, hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. I'll see you then next time. Until then, Sean on out. Peace and please, please wear a helmet. Bye.